Artistic effects is next up here in editing within PowerPoint and using the Microsoft image editor. And so here's a look at a finished slide before and after using the artistic effect. The image on the right is the original image with no effects. The image on the left, the effects that I've uh, selected to use for this lesson, I have soft edges. And you can see the difference here. This is what we'd call, this is a pretty hard edge here. And then I've used the artistic effect known as paint strokes. And here's how we do it. Once again, get a new slide. Insert the picture. And I am using this nice little background here. And this artistic effect is really nice to use for background. So as we move on to creating projects, you'll want to... Uh, Think back to this technique and use it. it. Makes real nice backdrops. You know, if you don't want to have just, uh, if you'd rather have something other than just a gray background or a colored background. So I'm going to resize this image a little bit here. This one I'm not going to crop. It's already uh, been set to a smaller size. And then I'm going to copy the image. And another way to copy images shortcut is to hold down your Control key and press the letter C, as in copy. And then press the letters Control again and the letter V to paste that image. So I have a duplicate. And notice that when I set it next to it, you get that. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it on the screen there, but a red line appears so that you can get the horizontal alignment right even with it. And this is a nice feature to use when you're really trying to make that placement to make a really nice looking presentation. Okay, so once again, on the right we have before. I'm going to click on the one on the left and I'm going to add, I think I'll go ahead and add the paint strokes and the soft edges. And so we're on the format menu, artistic effects located over here on the left side. And so here's all the different artistic effects and I think the paint strokes is right around here. But what I'm going to do instead of just using uh, this section here, we can also access it from artistic effects options. So we have more selections to deal with here. And so here are those artistic effects that we were just looking at right here. And so when you hover over these, it'll tell you which one it is. Mosaic bubbles, film grain. And you can I want you to experiment with these and find something you like. Uh, for this one, I just happen to like the uh, paint strokes. There it is. So that's the default look but I have options now, transparency and intensity. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase that level of transparency to come up with a look that I like a little better than all that dark there. That looks pretty nice. And then you can also experiment with the intensity of those paint strokes. There's very little. There's a lot. And so I'm going to find some middle ground there. And that looks pretty nice, so I'm going to stay with that. And then next up, you can take a look here. You have these other options, shadows. Reflection, Glow, Soft Edges. For this one, I will use Soft Edges. There's Presets. 1 point, 2 point, 5 point. I'm going to start with, oh, let's start with a 10 point see how that looks. That looks pretty good, and then I can adjust that size. So I'm going to add that 10 point Soft Edge there. I had a little computer glitch. So I've got that 10 point Soft Size there. And I can increase that if I want to make it larger or smaller using our up and down arrows here in this selection box. And so I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it there at 8. That looks pretty good. And then you can close that format background window and take a look at your work. And so there's the before. There's the after. And this is just a real nice look. And this would make a really nice background or just kind of a fun image uh, to utilize within a presentation. So your assignment is to go ahead and create three different slides, a before and an after, utilizing three different artistic effects, and then show those to me as I come by to see how you're doing or see if you need any additional help. And once again, you're going to have fun with this, a lot of tools you can work with, a lot of room for creativity.